Hi viewers, uh, welcome back to this lecture on, uh, this is the continued lecture on subspace topology. <clears throat> so uh, in the last video we proved that uh, if A is a subspace of a topological space X and uh, B is a subspace of a topological space Y, then the product topology on A cross B is same as the subspace topology inherits as a subspace of x cross y if you recall but uh, we uh, at the end of the video i said that uh, if i have an ordered set uh, in the order topology and uh, if i consider a subset of x okay let me <clears throat> write so that you will understand more precisely so suppose that uh, X is an ordered set suppose X is an ordered set in the order topology as soon as you have a simply ordered set you can talk about the order topology right you can make X a topological space with the order topology which is generated by a special kind of basis. So suppose X is an ordered set in the order topology. I'll not recall what, what exactly the order topology is. Okay, if you uh, want to recall, you can go back to my previous uh, lecture, maybe the lecture number 11 or 12. 12. There uh, you can precisely understand what uh, the order topology is in the simply ordered set. If possible, I'll uh, I'll try to uh, provide link in the group provide link in link in the description box. Okay. So suppose X is an ordered set in the order topology, and suppose Y uh, is a subset of X. To understand what is meant by a subset of a set. Then uh, see x is an ordered set. That means there is some order on x, right? There is some sim simple order on x with respect to which x is an ordered set, and you are taking y a subset of x. Now, on the set y, you can define two topologies. You can talk about two topologies. One is the subspace topology because x itself is a topological space. You take any topological space say x and you take any subset of that uh, topological space x then you can define a subspace topology uh, on that subset you already know that so the first possibility is that on the subset y of x we can define subspace topology by considering uh, a subspace of the uh, topological space x uh, in the order topology Another thing is, since X is an ordered set, right? So therefore, as Y is a subset of X, so with respect to the same order on Y, Y will be an ordered set. So as soon as you have an ordered set, you can talk about order topology on that set. So on Y, either you can res either um, Y you can view as a subspace of the topological space X, or why you can view as the topological space with respect to, to the same order there in X, right? Right? So, but the question here is how these two topologies on Y are related, right? Are they same? Previously, we observed that if I pick A as a subset of, uh, if, a, if I pick A as a subspace of uh, the topological space X, and B as a subspace of topological space Y, then the product topology on A cross B is same as uh, the subspace topology uh, inherits as a subspace of X, for X cross Y. Right? Product topology on A cross B and the subspace topology on A cross B, they were same. Right? But here, my question is, are the two topologies that that is the subspace topology and the order topology and why same right 
a similar kind of question which we have asked in our last lecture there we have asked uh, between the uh, product topologies on a cross product topology on a cross b and uh, the subspace topology on a cross b uh, as a subspace of x cross y whether these two topologies on the same set a cross b same or not that was the previous question here i am asking the same question but here i am trying to uh, relate i am trying to you know relate whether the i am trying to relate uh, the order topology and the subspace topology on the subset of the ordered set that is why got the idea no fine now uh, let me continue writing <laughs> so that you will uh, keep on understanding each point now uh, the order relation on x whatever i said uh, recently i'll write the same thing so the order relation on x the order relation on x if i restrict to y <clears throat> makes y an ordered set that is what i said no so the order relation on x when restricted to y when restricted uh, to the subset y it makes y it makes y into an ordered set it makes y into an ordered set okay that is what i already said so once i have y as an ordered set i can talk about the ordered topology on y right right i can talk about the ordered topology on y and y is a subset of x x is a topological space so, so therefore i can talk about the subspace topology on y also right with respect to which y is a topological space but the what was the question how they are related right how the order topology on y is related to the uh, subspace topology on y in fact in general uh, the order topology on y it is not same as the uh, topology on y that to, it, it is not not same as the topology uh, on y inherits as a subspace of x that means the order topology on y is not same as the subspace topology on y right in general so i'll give you an example but first of all uh, let me write uh, the fact okay so this is the fact uh, so what is the fact fact is that the uh, the resulting Uh, the resulting order topology in Y it need not be same as it need not be same as uh, the topology in Y. inherits as a subspace of inherits as a subspace of x okay in general it is not true okay i'll give you a, I'll, I'll give you an example right why it is so so uh, we'll see uh, an example wherein uh, we'll see in fact uh, uh, we'll see one example where the subspace and order topology on y uh, are equal and we'll see some more examples wherein the subspace uh, and uh, order topology on y are not equal okay so therefore uh, the order topology in y 
in general is not same as the topology inherits at the subspace of x may be equal in some cases in some examples it may be equal but in general it is not true because i have an example one example is sufficient to show that it is not true but it is not true i am not saying that it is not always uh, it cannot be true always right there may be a situation wherein the order topology and the subspace topology uh, on y coincides so that is what uh, we are going to see so the first example is the following <clears throat> so you just consider uh, the subset y equals the closed interval 0 comma 1 <clears throat> so this is the subset of the real line r of the uh, real line r right As soon as you see interval like this, try to recall all the properties it has, right? It is closed and bounded, right? It is compact because in R, closed and bounded impa implies compact, right? Uh, it's supremum and infimum are there in the set. So you try to recall all the uh, uh, <coughs> properties uh, this interval has. Although it is not required here, but uh, that is a kind of habit which you should you should build, right? As soon as you see something, as soon as you see a group, which is finite, try to recall whatever the properties the finite group uh, will have. Okay. So consider the subset Y of the real line R. Now. Uh, now R is a topological space, right? Uh, with respect to a standard topology, or with respect to lower limit, you can define many topologies on R, but here I am interested in the standard topology. If I simply write the if I simply write the sentence that consider the subset Y, which is equal to closed interval 0, 1 of the real line R, you should understand that on R we have standard topology. That is understandable. You should understand because we are into the we are in the course on topology. So wherever we take a space that you have to understand uh, a topological space that you have to consider as a topological space. If nothing is mentioned, just uh, consider uh, with the standard topology. Okay. So consider the subset uh, uh, y of the real line R in the sub. Okay real line r so i'll not write i'll not mention what the topology is there in r but it is understandable right now r is a topological space with the standard topology so you can define since y is a subset of r so you can define you can talk about a subspace topology on y right so you can talk about a subspace topology on y now the subspace topology Now the subspace topology on Y uh, it has a basis you uh, recall from our previous discussion it will have a basis uh, of the form Y intersection okay, instead of Y I'll write 0 comma 1 so Y intersection B such that B is there in uh, okay I'll write it as B of Y and uh, B is there in script B so what is script B where script B is equal to the set of all open intervals right in R 
this is a basis of for the standard topology on R, right? This is the basis for the standard topology on R. So, if you recall from our uh, previous discussion, the basis uh, for the subspace topology on Y uh, will be the set of the elements of this type, right? But uh, since uh, every element in script B are open intervals, so you can write this as this. You can rewrite the set as the same set as zero comma one intersection A comma B such that A and B are real numbers, right? Because every element of script B are open intervals. So this uh, small b is in is in script B means B small b some open interval in R. And uh, let me also mention that A is strictly less than B, okay? And here also I'll mention that A is strictly less than B, okay? This is going to be a basis. Okay. Now let us uh, try to understand what are the types of element, uh, elements are there in script BY, okay? What are the types of elements which are there in script BY? Right now, uh, if I look at uh, a comma b intersection zero comma one, so let us look at different cases. So let us uh, think of a real line R. Suppose zero is here, one is here. Then this is y, right? This is y. Now, if A and B are both greater than 1, then the open interval is somewhere here, right? So, what is their intersection? It is phi, right? It is empty set. Similarly, uh, if uh, A and B are, say, uh, less than 0, or less than equal to zero. Of course, A and B cannot be equal. Suppose A is, uh, suppose uh, B is zero, and A is less than zero. Then it, the interval is some somewhere here, something like this, right? So this this will be uh, this is the case wherein B is zero and A is less than zero. So what is their intersection again? Phi, okay. Uh, similarly, uh, so here in this case, no, in, in this case, so this is the case wherein, these are the two cases wherein A and B both are not in Y, where Y is in 0, Y is equal to the closed interval 0, 1, right? A and B are not in Y, they are not the points of Y. In that case, also the uh, the intersection is phi. So those are two cases. So what is the third case? It may be something like this. Here A and B are not the points of Y, but what is their intersection? The whole of Y, right? So so if neither A This is the this is one case. If neither A nor B is in Y, then what will be their intersection? It is either phi or whole of Y. That you can observe, right? That we have observed. Okay. Fine. That is one case. The another case is suppose the situation is something like this. So this is zero, this is one. This set is whole of y. If both a and b are in y, then the situation is something like this. So what will be their intersection? Intersection will be a b, right? So if uh, both a and b are in y, 
then uh, their intersection is uh, AB itself, right? Okay. So let us see another case. So this is zero. This is one. Now if uh, A is in Y and B is uh, not in Y and suppose it is greater than one. Then uh, uh, what will be the okay? If A is in Y and B is in, B is not in Y, then it must be it it will be greater than one. So what will be their intersection? Their intersection will be uh, open A close to one, right? Uh, so we'll get intersection as this set uh, when A uh, is in Y. And B is not in Y. Right? Right? And another case is uh, something like this. So this is 0, this is 1. Suppose B is there in Y and A is not in Y. So if uh, B is in Y and A is not in Y, then now what will be their intersection? Their intersection will be 0, comma B. Right? Right? This is clear, I think. So these are the types of elements which uh, are there in the set script BY. So these are the basis element. Right? These are the basis elements. Okay. Fine. These are the basis element uh, uh, which are there in script by. So script by is a basis for the subspace topology on Y. Now, uh, now uh, <clears throat> since R is an ordered set, right, with respect to the order strictly less than usual strictly less than. And uh, we have already seen that the basis uh, for the order topology on R co coincides with this uh, coincides with the basis for the standard topology on R that we have already seen. So this script B is not only the basis for the standard topology on R, but it is also the basis for the order order topology on R, right? Okay. Now, therefore, uh, since uh, R is an ordered set. Uh, we can talk about the order topology on R, uh, which is the topology generated by the same basis, which generates the standard topology on R. And Y is a subset of R. So, so therefore, what we can uh, think of is that Y is also the ordered set with respect to the same order there in R. Y is also the ordered set. Now, as soon as Y uh, is an ordered set, uh, we can talk about order topology and Y, right? Since Y <coughs> is an ordered set with respect to the same order, a relation <coughs> which is in R which is in R, okay? So Y is an ordered set with respect to the same order relation which is there in R. Uh, hence, uh, we can define order topology on Y which is generated by a basis, let us call B double dash, right, which contains all open intervals in Y. So it contains all open intervals A comma B. So such that A and B are in Y union. So we, let us go back. Since Y has smallest element that is zero, so it also contains 
sets of the type 0 comma a let me write 0 comma b such that b is in y and since y contains largest element that is 1 so it contains set of the type a comma 1 such that a is in y right note that uh, whatever the whatever the types of elements are there in uh, by script by same types of elements are there in script b double dash right same types of elements are there in uh, script b double dash so therefore uh, what we can ha have is that uh, so the what we can have is that the same set well uh, we can say that the basis for the uh, the basis for the subspace topology in y coincides with the basis for the uh, order topology in y right the basis for the subspace topology in y is same as the basis for the order topology in y right so in this case the subspace uh, topology and the order topology are same because basis are same Basis for the subspace topology is same as the basis for the order topology. Basis are same, same means topologies are also same. So therefore, the order topology is same as the subspace topology. Okay. I think it is clear. So, uh, so what we can have is that uh, the... we can uh, we observe that the basis uh, uh, <clears throat> for the subspace to policy on y is same as the basis for the order topology <clears throat> for the order topology on sorry basis for the order topology on y so therefore uh, therefore what is the conclusion our conclusion is that uh, in the set y equal to 0 comma 1 its subspace topology its subspace topology uh, as a subspace of r as a subspace of R uh, and its order topology are the same, and its order topology are the well, just wait, are the same. Okay, but uh, one thing you, uh, you can easily observe uh, uh, is that. So these these are the two types of set which are not open uh, in R with respect to the standard sorry with respect to the standard topology right these are the two types of sets which are not open in R with respect to the standard topology because uh, this set is not open set of this type is not open because for the point one I cannot find an open interval which contains one and is contained in a comma one same argument to uh, the interval of the type 0 comma b for the point 0 i cannot find an open interval which contain 1 and is contained in 0 comma b because of which these two types these two sets are not open with respect to the standard topology on r 
uh, yeah <clears throat> okay so here we this is an example wherein the order topology and the subspace topology coincides now uh, let us try to see uh, uh, an example wherein the uh, order topology and the subspace topology does not coincide. So, example two. Suppose uh, y is a subset. Uh, suppose y is equal to say zero comma one union uh, the set singleton 2 let us consider it as a subset of r and on r suppose we have the standard uh, topology that is with respect to which uh, with respect to the standard uh, topology on r r is a topological space and here i have considered y is a subspace of r so like before i can define two topologies on y one is the topology inherit as a subspace of <laughs> r and uh, another is the order topology right because r is an ordered set so now uh, we are interested in <clears throat> looking into uh, the relationship between order topology and the subspace topology on y right are they same or they are different that is uh, our interest okay now uh, the subspace topology so the subspace topology on y uh, is the that is tau y which is the <clears throat> uh, which is the set of all elements of the type y intersection u where u is open in r right this is same as this is by the definition so this is same as 0 comma 1 union 2 intersection u such that u is open in r u is open in r but uh Every open intervals are open set in R with respect to the standard topology because every open intervals in R are basis element right? and every basis element is an element of topology. Hence, uh, every open intervals in R are open sets. So, if I look uh, again uh, at the real line, say 0, 1, 2 is somewhere here. So, this is our set, right? Singleton 2. This is our set Y. Now, if I pick u to be the interval 1.5 and say 3, right? Suppose if I pick u to be this open interval, then this is open in R, right? u is open in R. And what is their intersection? What is the intersection of u with y? It is singleton 2, right? Uh, now, why I am doing so? Because uh, you'll see in a while. Now, if u is equal to say 1.5 comma 3, then u intersection wise I am getting a singleton 2. Right? Okay. <clears throat> so, therefore, this uh, this singleton 2 is in tau y right hence i can say that singleton 2 is open uh, so elements of tau y tau y are called open sets right so singleton 2 is open with respect to okay it is i'll simply write that singleton 2 is open in y uh, with respect to a subspace topology okay with respect to a subspace topology
on y okay now let us see whether the singleton 2 is open with respect to order topology and y or not if singleton 2 is open then that will uh, uh, conclude nothing but if it is not open with respect to the order topology and y then we can directly say that the order topology is not same as the subspace topology right okay now uh for for uh, in order to understand whether in order to see whether the singleton 2 is open with respect to an order topology and y or not let us try to see how the basis element of uh basis element with respect to the order topology on y looks like right so if uh, b denotes the basis for order topology on y then uh, b will be the collection of elements uh, of the type so it contains all open intervals in y union since b has since y has smallest uh, element that is zero so it contains interval of the type zero comma b where b is in y union it has largest element that is two so it contains uh, sets of the type a comma two such that a is in y okay Okay, so this is script B. All right. Now the question is: Is singleton to open uh, with respect to the order topology and why? Uh, so that is the question, right? So is it possible to write singleton two as uh, the union of basis element? Is it possible to write uh, singleton 2 as the union of basis element? Okay, singleton 2 is not uh, in the set of singleton 2 is not uh, uh, I cannot write singleton 2 as uh, uh, the open interval a, b where a and b are in y, right? It is not possible okay right so if i take yeah it is not possible also singleton 2 uh, i cannot write singleton 2 as equal to uh, 0 comma let us say b such that b is in y it is not possible right if b is uh, in y which is less than 2 then uh, uh, then this will be a then, uh, then the largest interval will be something like this right for b equal to okay. well b is b equal to 1 is not uh, in y <clears throat> right so i cannot take b as 1 because it is not in y so okay it will be of this type b is less than 1 if i take B as two also not possible, right? It is not possible to write singleton two uh, as equal to the set of this type. So therefore, singleton two uh, can be written as equal to okay. Can I write singleton two as uh, Uh, this is equal to okay a is equal to 1 is not in y so i cannot take a as 1 if i take a as 2 if i take a as 2 then uh, our situation will be something like this this is this is not a set it contains 2 and it it does not contains 2 it is not a set so the only possible value for a is uh, a is equal to 1 is not there, right? So if A is equal to 1 were there in Y, then singleton 2 will be 
open because this set uh, will be precisely this is a basis element there in script b and this is set is precisely singleton 2 but sing but 1.1 1. 1 is not there in y so i have to here write point e which is less than 1 but if i write uh, so that so that is the only possible right possibility but so e is less than 1 but if e is less than 1 then uh, this set is not equal to singleton 2 why because uh, it contains many points in in fact infinitely many points which are less than 1 suppose uh, the case is something like this no 0 1 2 so i am writing if i write if i pick a as less than 1 then uh, suppose this is a so these are there are infinitely many points between a and 1 right so we, all these points are here in the set got the idea so this set this is nothing but a1 uh, union singleton 2 right and in this 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 interval contains infinitely many points so therefore singleton 2 cannot be uh, written as the union of basis element right right if if you assume that singleton 2 well is it can be written as the union of basis element we'll get a contradiction because any open interval that contains a uh, singleton 2 is of this form and a is not 1 a cannot be 1 because 1 is not a point of y so therefore a should be less than 1 if i pick a as 2 i'll get this this set is not well defined therefore a should be less than 1 but if a is less than 1 then this contains infinitely many points other than 2 it contains 2 but contains infinitely many points other than 2 so therefore singleton 2 cannot be written as the union of a uh, basis element script b hence singleton 2 is not open in the with respect to the order topology on y so what is the conclusion our conclusion is that singleton 2 is open with respect to the subspace topology in y but the same set is not open with respect to the order topology in y what does it imply it implies that the subspace topology is not same as the order topology on y right so this is the example uh, which uh, supports our fact this was our fact no <clears throat> right the order uh, in general the order topology and y need not be same as the topology inherits as a subspace of x okay so we got an example uh, this particular example okay in our first example they were same in our second example they were different so there may be a case wherein order topology will be same as the subspace topology and there may be a case wherein uh, <clears throat> they are different okay but the very obvious question is when can when it can happen that uh, they will be same right when uh, it, it can happen that they will be same so the what is what is the obvious question uh, when can uh, okay if uh, uh, x is a x is an ordered set and uh, in the order topology and uh, y is a subset of x then question is when it is question is when it is true that uh, the order topology when it is true that the order topology on y is same as the subspace same as the topology on y inherits as a subspace of x topology of y inherits as a subspace of x this is the very obvious question 
uh, which you can ask right when it is true that the order topology is same as the order topology and y is same as the topology in any tensor subspace of x okay so to answer this question we have the following definition okay so if i have uh, if we are given an ordered set x given an ordered set x uh, a, a subset of if okay let me write like this if y is an ordered if x is an ordered set if x is an ordered set uh, a subset of y of x is convex in x if for each if for each pair of points a less than b of y the entire interval a comma b of points in x sorry the entire interval uh, a comma b of points in x lies in y right so that means you have an ordered set suppose x let us call it as r for example for instance r is an ordered set no so let us take x as r and uh, take y as uh, okay let us take y as 0 comma 1 okay take y as 0 comma 1 now the question is is y convex r is an ordered set we know that right with this standard uh, with, with a simple order relation the standard uh, order relation that is uh, strictly less than so it is an ordered set now if i pick uh, y as uh, the closed interval 0 comma 1 which is, which is a subset of x which is equal to r is y a convex set well for y to be a convex set uh, you pick any two points in y so let us to check whether y is a convex set or not let, let us pick any two points a and b in y such that a is less than b okay now you look at the interval a comma b so this is the so a comma b is the uh, the the interval uh, with respect to in a comma b you collect it is not the collection of all points in y such that a is less than it is not same as so by a comma b this is the interval in x okay that means here you collect all points in x such that uh, a is less than x is less than b right it is not like this is this collection a collection of all points x in y such that a is less than x is less than b it is not like that it is the collection of all points in x says that a is less than x is less than b so this is the interval of points in x so this is the interval of points in x so you 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 consider such interval right you consider such interval it is not the interval of points in y rather it is the interval of points in a, x now for any two points a comma b of y see whether this type of interval of points in x lies in y or not is it a, is it a subset of y for any a comma b in y of course right right so therefore y is in this case y is convex but if i pick another example say uh, just wait let me this let me quickly this Okay, if I pick again x as r, 
this is an ordered set with the usual order uh, and if I pick y as say 0 comma 1 intersection singleton 2 our second y of our second example yeah oh it is open right okay. now the question is is y convex is the subset y convex in x so what is the question question is that is y convex in x so note that with uh, to talk about the convex set we should have first of all an ordered set right that is the basic requirement of the definition in the definition so x is an ordered set with with the usual order so therefore we can ask a very basic question that is is y a convex uh, is y convex in x well for well for y to be convex in x what should happen what should be true uh, it should be true that for any two points uh, a comma b in y with the condition that a less than b the entire uh, uh, open interval the open interval containing points in x it should be a subset of y but that is not the case here why because uh, you you see uh, you see uh, if i pick a a point in a y such that 0 is less than a less than 1 and if i pick b a is equal to 2 right then if i look at a comma 2 this is the set of all y in this is the set of all x in r such that a is less than x is less than 2 right so here you have a here you have 1 here you have 2 so this set is precisely the set a comma 2 right this interval so it contains all such points between a and 2 but one is not there in y right one is not there in y so it is not a subset of y this contains one which is not there in y in fact it contains all points between one and two which is not there in y this is not a subset of y so because of which y is not convex answer is no got the idea okay so now using this definition we have the answer to the uh, above question this particular question right when it is true that the order topology on y is same as the order topology as the topology of y inherits as a subspace of x so the answer to this question is given by the following theorem whose proof i'll not discuss but you try to understand the statement suppose x is an ordered set suppose x is an ordered set uh, in the order topology and let us say that y is a subspace of x that is convex in x you understand what is meant by a convex set right so why is the subspace of x that is convex in x means what it means that for any pair of points uh, a and b of y with a less than b the entire interval uh, a comma b of points in x lies in y so that is that that is the definition of a uh, convex subset of an ordered set x okay now uh, this theorem says that then the ordered topology on y uh, is the same as the topology on y inherits as a subspace of x okay very interesting theorem if 
you consider a subset of x which is an ordered set in such a way that it is convex it is convex also then always you can guarantee that the order topology coincides with the subspace topology on y order topology on y coincides with the sub subspace uh, topology in y which is inherits as a subspace of x for example so the proof is an exercise for you okay so as an example our example number okay in our example number one this set was convex this is a subset of r and this set was convex in r we have seen right we have seen okay so i i i removed that but we have seen that this set is convex in r because of which order topology were same as the subspace topology order topology in y was same as the sub subspace topology inherits as a subspace of subspace topology in y inherits as a subspace of r but here in our next example that is the example number 2 this y is not convex we have we have seen here right why it is not convex because we have already given a precise argument to that so why is not convex because of which order topology we're not same as the subspace topology inherits as a, inherits as a subspace of r right so if y is convex uh, if y is a sub, subspace of x which is convex in x then you can always guarantee that the order topology and y is same as the topology in as a subspace of x so the answer to this question is what is the answer to this question answer is that uh, if y is convex then order topology on y is same as the topology of y in as a sub topology of y topology on y uh, in H as a subspace of X. So the answer is Y should be convex. Okay, You know what is meant by convex set. So this completes the discussion of order topology also. Next, uh, I plan to discuss closed sets, limit points, uh, closer and interior of a set and uh, host of space which is the very interesting uh, so why host of why why to define so we'll see why there is a need of defining uh, what is called an host of space okay uh, so we'll try to see that uh, if so we know a very basic fact that is a sequence uh, in any metric space if it is convergent then it converges to exactly one limit point right but uh, that is not true in case of the sequence in topological space. If you consider a sequence in topological space, it may converse to infinitely many uh, limit points. It may con converse to uncountably many points, right? So, so that is not the situation which we want. If I, if we consider that, uh, uh, if we consider, if we go along with uh, that situation, then we will not be able to do anything further with the course, right? Right. So, so, so therefore, uh, to handle such uh, uh, strange situation, we'll define what is called an Hausdorff space, and then we'll try to see that if I have a topological space which is Hausdorff, then in in that topological space, in that Hausdorff space, if a, if I have a sequence which is convergent, then it converges to exactly one uh, limit point, right? Exactly one point. So therefore. Uh, uh, therefore, the definition of, uh, is there. Therefore, the definition of Hausdorff space is there. So that with that uh, definition of Hausdorff space, we can prove various results. Various uh, we can generalize various results, which is there in the metric space to a general topological space. So with this, I want to stop.